morning, gang. Welcome back to uh, Snake River Fly, Fly Tying Tutorials. Early February, uh, it's warming up pretty good. So we've just been playing around, thinking about some summer PMD fishing. And this is one we fished the last couple years. Used to kind of fish the same one when I guided um, on the South Fork. Anyway, it's a great little emerger, you know, little attractor merger works awesome when you got a good PMD hatch. So. We'll just go ahead and get after it. Simple fly, only has a few materials. Pretty easy to do. So I've got a size 16, number 2222222222, dry fly hook or merger hook. And I've got a 70 denier or an ADOT uh, Semper PMD thread. Let's go ahead and start behind the eye. Definitely want to go down in your smaller stuff, ADOT, 70 denier when you're tying these little guys. So I'll just have a thread base right there and then we're gonna take some of our copper crinkle zone and we're gonna use that for a couple different things in this fly. Kind of show you how we do that. So I've got about 10 strands of crinkle zone and I've trimmed them even and then I'll switch that over so that even part is going to make our trailing shuck. PMD is right when they're emerging. They'll shed that exoskeleton. It'll still have some oxygen, some hemoglobin in it, and rust and coppers and like that is a, is a color that they basically kind of put off um, as that's happening. So go ahead and put our tail in. I've got it longer than my hook shank. I'll just trim it to length like so. And with our remainder, remaining crinkles on out here, we just wrap forward about, oh, 16th of an inch. Now we'll just fold that back and tie that down, winding back to where that trailing shuck starts and let that just hang out the back. Now just come forward and build up a tapered base, about two thirds of the shank. Just wanna to try to keep this flat and taper it so it's a little larger up here than it is in the back. And that's so your crinkle zone will lay. We'll just take that same crinkle zone piece that we use for our shuck and we're just gonna wrap that around the shank forward. It'll lay nice and flat, but there is just a little bit of shine in there. I'll come up past the two-thirds mark and I'll put a couple wraps of thread over to secure it. And just like we did in the back, now we'll fold that piece back and secure it at that two-third mark. So now I've got some of our PMD um, Grizz Frizz. Great color for doing this. And once again, I just pulled out a small amount and trim the ends off tight. So what we'll do is right here where we finished uh, tying in our crinkles on body, we'll do a little pinch right here. I'll show you on the top how we do that. We pinch in between the thumb and the index, or in the uh, index finger, and then pull down, and that'll put it right on top. Get two or three wraps in there, I'm not really torquing, and then I'll just bring these fibers in, slowly drawing them in, like so. We'll need to do a little bit of trimming, but that'll keep our eye clear. I like so, with our sweet little rising razors. Okay, so now we're gonna take some killer Kapok, Simple Fly, and with this is their Danica color. If you haven't used this stuff yet, it floats like a cork and you can really make some small bodies with it. So I'll choose a little of that and just noodle dub it right onto that ADOT waxed. I like so. Just made a little cigar shape there. And now I'm just gonna build a little ball right in front of those two materials, leaving Plenty of room to tie off up here on the front. 
And now we'll take our Grizz Frizz and I'm just gonna make a little bubble, about like so, smashing it on top. And then I'll do that in pinch again, like so. And get some securing wraps. Just making a little fold over there. And I get a couple wraps here in front just to secure that and clip it off tight. You could fold it back too if you wanted, but get this part out. And we'll just trim off those little tips right there. Whoops. I'll use my thumbnail and I'll kind of push everything back a little bit just to clear the eye. A little bit of cleanup wraps there. So now we have our little ball up on top, like so. And what we'll do is we'll just come in and divide that a little bit. You can use your scissors or a bobbin, make a little heart. And then I'm just gonna pull that crinkles on that we had that made the trailing shuck and the body. And we'll pull it right down the center, like so and do a couple quick wraps on that guy. Crinkles on lays really flat, so you can get it in these tight little crannies. Makes awesome legs on, on little caddis and mayflies, whatnot. All right. Get up a little bit thicker on the front than would be desired, but as they say, it'll fish. I'll clean it up a little bit, hopefully. Get a couple whip finishes on here. I only do maybe 25 whip finishes on my little dries versus, you know, 50 on streamers. Just kidding, only a couple in there. And then you get somebody that's got some younger eyes like old B-Dog over here. I need to clean that up, but I'll just thumb it back that's a great tool in your fly tying you can always well not always but a lot of times get away fixing a bug by doing that if you're too close to the front now we'll take all these little stragglers the long ones these are going to be our legs i kind of put some of them on one side some of them on the other a couple wraps and then i'll cut this fairly short comb them down to the side then this guy gets a, you know, a touch of head cement. We got a couple weird little stragglers. We'll clean them up. Like to use a toothpick when you're getting down on bugs this small. Just put your head cement down on your, you know, a little flat surface. And then use your toothpick to get that in there. That way you won't fill the eye up or goop them up too much cut a couple of those guys off give it a little loving then i like to uh i'll grease this grizz for his wing up let the rest of her buck it's just a great especially a fast water um pmd emerger you know if you've got suspended fish that are feeding on that transition between the nymph you know and, and right when those wings are popping out this is a great little one to fish as number two behind a compare done or a hair wing done. Um, sometimes in a pinch, if I get a real picky fish, I'll just clip that stuff a little shorter, but really did kind of do all bug. You've only got three materials in here, you know, plus your hook and thread. You got your copper crinkles on, PMD, Grizz Frizz, and the Danica uh, K-Pop dubbing. But give this one a try. Um, like I said, works really good as a number two fly. You know, it's kind of leggy, kind of buggy, all that kind of stuff. Floats just in the film. And uh, this is one in our series for PMDs. Next one I think we'll do is a cripple. We'll show you our little unweighted nymph as well. But happy time.